Giles, I have a question for you. How can a company that advertises used cars on a small set of islands somewhere in the North Atlantic be worth $3 billion and trade at 30 times earnings? I refer, of course, to Auto Trader. Yeah, Auto Trader. Well, you, you think this is boring. It's glamorous in the UK. Remember, <laughs> this is the country that invented Top Gear and watches it all right. the time. Yes, so yes. this is a place where people actually read and trade cars partly for fun and partly as a consumer good. So right. as a consumer good... So it's got an to... entertainment stock, first yeah, of all. Yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> no, yeah, this is Hollywood. Stock. <laughs> now, it's also a great recovery stock. I right. mean, we've got a recovering economy. But mm. above all, this is a fantastic near monopoly in this kind of area. Yes. Other people try to eat auto traders' lunch they don't seem to have much of a chance of getting away with that. Do you, do you think it's a natural monopoly? Not a in natural monopoly. In other words, one. is there only, uh, only room for in one? In theory, if you saw the prospectus, website, we sell things as basic as cars, everyone else comes in and does it. So you've also got motors.co.uk, right. you've, you've got company, uh, companies like Petrolhead and so forth. This is, but Auto Trader is lodged in the public consciousness. Everyone yes. has heard of them. They've even, and there's just a network effect, right? Yeah. You want to go to the site that the most other people go, Go to. Yeah, exactly. Right. So and it's self-reinforcing. Yes, exactly. And most of the dealers feel they've got to have a place with Auto Trader, which is a great position to be. Let's talk a little bit about the UK car market, which I would assume has to be pretty strong to support Auto yeah. Trader's business. It's been strong, and it's been strong for a few years at the news car sales level. I mean, two mm. or three years ago, even when everyone was still talking about a UK recession, people started buying cars. There's all sorts of theories about this, whether it was insurance payments from the banks. Right. Uh, suddenly people d had five grand decide to spend it on a car. Looser finance has yeah, to have something to do with exactly. it. Exactly. Cheap interest rates, people want a big ticket item. But uh, used car sales, which are three times as many as the existing new car sales, mm. they've, be, they're, they're, they've been taking off as well in the last couple of years. And that's where Auto Trader makes its money. Mm. Made basically on a turn on it. And the turn is not so great. It's not like the markup you expect from the dealer, which is five or ten percent. It's, you know, 10 or 20 quid per month per car. So not enough to hurt the dealer, but enough to make a hell of a lot when you're talking about 7 million transactions a year. So uh, a pretty robust market. The local competition has not made inroads against Auto Trader. What about a gigantic global internet company like eBay or Google? Well, stepping on them. The trouble is, I mean, there's a British love affair with cars that has got itself attached to Auto Trader's name. 92% mm. of Brits recognize Auto Trader's name, which is more than actually the number who have a car. <laughs> this is a world where people sit around and open this magazine and read it for fun. Right. So they don't think Google first or Amazon first, as you do with a lot of other businesses. You go, they go to Auto Trader first because this is what they associate with the used car market. So. so Three billion, in short, three billion dollars and thirty times earnings, three yeah. million pounds. I'm yeah. sorry, uh, makes some sense. It, it does make some sense. It carries on growing at this rate. It's not going to be thirty times earnings. It'll be twenty, fifteen, and still no one will have come near its brand. So that's not a bad story. Thanks, Giles. Thank you.